Yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, thank you very much. Good evening, guys. Welcome to WTF Do Me. This is the fresh takeover. It's been quite a week, brother man. It's been, it's been a heavy week because not that I don't think it's my place to defend this, but more often than not, a lot of men defend the fact that men are trash. Right. But I think sometimes we have to look in the mirror and realize that we don't do good and yep. we ought to do good. I agree, especially so, with uh, babes. Uh, in, in fact, uh, you know, to babes and them shows, uh, um, we, we, we are with you in what all the crap you're having to deal with. And you can't say, please pray for us before you're willing to look in the mirror and say, I need to look internally before I can ask for external help. It doesn't make sense. Because how do we help you if you're not helping yourselves? So stop asking for prayer and help yourself first. We That's do, what I think. To, I think we've got a video for them to cheer, cheer up babes and the, uh, and the guys. All right. Uh, how about that? <laughs> How's that for sister magic? Jeez. Anyway, listen, sisters are hardcore. Show me one man who can do that, apart from that man there, because he can pretty much do everything. Well, one man who definitely can't is triple axe murderer born with a silver spoon in his mouth and thinks he can deny it, but we saw right through you. Henry van Vreda, uh, he's been found guilty. Shout out to the courts. In fact, straight after the show, I'm gonna have a court for the courts tonight. Lock this trash away already. Please. And then there's Marietta Orkamp. She resigned as the city of Tswane's chief of staff for having trash qualifications. In fact, I'm told trash is more qualified than she is. I thought she'd be resigning from something more scandalous. Maybe like the chief of stuff. Like, yo, Marietta, <coughs> this is some good stuff. <laughs> I'll yeah. Take, I'll take two bag keys. <laughs> yeah, it's my finest imported stuff, Fred. You and I both know that you grew this in your backyard, but Marietta. Has Mamuzi tried this? Ah, <coughs> you got me there. Flip it. I quit. Ah. <laughs> Can't that be the story, rather? That would be great. Exactly. And speaking of quitters. It was reported that former Steinhoff CEO Marcus Eusta owned 350 horses in training. I guess they're not horses yet, clearly. A hundred mares, day mares, because nightmares are something completely different. In fact, 49% shares in a horse breeding farm. I mean, clearly this guy isn't horsing around. Quite the stud, if you ask me. Well, hang on now. Hold your horses there, Fresh. How many horses exactly was that? A lot, Glenn. In fact, all Marcus actually needs to do right by SA and get off his high horse. As they say in the Cape, nay, may brew. <laughs> anyway, moving abroad, this news about the Migos' offset really bugged me. According to his fiancée, Cardi B, offset wrote off his car to avoid hitting a crackhead who was trying to get hit or kill himself. Really, Cardi? What if I put it to you that the crackhead was in the car? behind the wheel, looking for stock, like he found in South Africa. <laughs> we have a great show today with two power women, Shashi Naidu and Shante Chanchis. Then we close off the show with a scorching performance from Noni D out of uh, Nigeria and our very own Candy. But first, Lynn, what's the WTF of the day?
Good evening, Mzanzi, and happy Tuesday. The WTF of today stands for Who's Tricky? Faith. I'm talking about Faith Nketi, a.k.a. Queen Twerks. This weekend, it, uh, she broke Twitter when she, it was alleged that she was, in fact, a pimp. Uh, yesterday, she went on her Instagram uh, page to strongly refute these claims. Uh, the last time that she trended, remember, was last October, I think, when there were rumors of her having slept with Cardi B's fiance Offset while really? Migos was still in South Africa. Yeah, fresh. Come on, man. Cheating on Cardi B. I told you it was a crackhead. <laughs> you called it. And prior to that, fresh, there's still more. She also trended when a sex tape of her went viral. Yup. It's no secret, I think Faith is definitely a bad girl. But let's first have a look at what her real claim to fame is. Check this out. Well, pimp or not, she's definitely uh, proof that faith does, in fact, move mountains. <laughs> Glenn, I thought you were going to show us the other video. What, what? The other video. What? What's the other video, man? The other video. I don't know what you Work mean. with me. Anyway, speaking of moving mountains and... Tonight's show is all about movers and shakers in the modeling world, amongst other things. Please help me welcome businesswoman, moolah maker, Shashi Naidu. Hey girl, how are you doing? Peace, Have a seat. Glenn, what is Shashi having? Well, do you, Shashi Vodka? Juice to be your lawfully drink for the rest of the evening. And before you answer, what is your surname? Naidu. Naidu. I thought you were going to say that. There you go. Thank you very much. Well, Thank it's all yours. You. Enjoy, my darling. Thank you so much. There you Shashi, go. Shashi, your wheel is at gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I think that's a tweet. Um, she has to get onto Twitter and, uh, and post something really risky for it. In fact, please give me your, open your Twitter and I'll do it for you. We're talking about your cup size in the makeup room. So can I'm, I, a, I'm, a, I'm a double A. Double A. Can I post <laughs> that onto Twitter? No, no. Uh, that's not how it works. Oh. We, ne we need your... You need my handle. We need, no, no. Just open up your Twitter account okay, and I'll, open, I'll post a tweet for you. Are you going to post this for me? Uh, yes. Yeah. My Twitter account has officially been hacked. Yeah. Um, uh, for the night. And I think Fresh, you can Yummy, I could do with oh God. some <laughs> of this chocolate. What are you saying about chocolate? And what? Sitting next to me. <laughs> Wow. Yes. There you go. Tweet it. So fresh. How many so characters fresh, have you so got there? So yummy. Now he's gone over the 140 <laughs> characters. Um, he's writing a young Glenn. novel. I am <laughs> sure the next they are <laughs> right <laughs> when they say, once you go black, <laughs> once you go black. Fire it. I Fire it. hope. Once you go Okay. My we can't stop. We've got it. We've I got hope it. my vanilla doesn't mind. <laughs> oh, so there is a vanilla. Ice, yeah. ice baby, how you doing, my dog? Oh, he's on set. <laughs> there he is. He's <laughs> filming. Yes. Tell us. He's, he's filming. They're gonna role play after this. <laughs> <laughs> you be fresh. Do the fresh you, laugh. You my chocolate, oh. I be the yeah. yeah. Hi, fresh. You just come back from the French Riviera. Yes, can uh, film for Yes, I, mean, I remember I was a kid, I'd watch these tobacco ads talking about the French Riviera, smoke this and be cool. Tell us about why you were in Cannes in the first place. It was very cool. We were part of a South African contingent. Yes. We went there as South Africans to experience what this is, to experience the rest of the world. Uh, a great, great group of girls. Bonang was with me, Lorna okay. Masejo was with me, my gas band, Ryan. So, yeah, don't worry, babes. My gas band uh, was uh, with uh, me. Uh, keep uh, an eye on things. I was about to ask, give us a bunch of girls. Who was blessing you guys? Or uh -huh. My gas band. Uh -huh. <laughs> what does gas band mean? 
my gay husband okay. that he in every other way other than you know he does everything else what a husband would do yes would do. but i mean we had a great time and you know what listen i can tell you when Bernang arrived there and we yeah. were staying at the say the hotel martinez yes and there were all these, you drive up and all the celebs stay there and all, there was all these paparazzi and people waiting outside to see it. And I'm like, oh, but now I'm the paparazzi. And like, they, they don't know me, but give them half an hour. And trust <laughs> me, by the end of the trip, they knew who Bonang was. They did know before or after? They didn't. They, Bonang said, they don't know who I am. I'm not famous yet, but she said, give them a half an hour. But yeah, that girl knows how to work. You're, you're almost deaf in your one ear? Not almost. I'm completely deaf in the one ear. So that's why I kind of have to... It's good that you speak. I'm deaf in this year. How? I think it had to do with an incident at camp with a moth, but not entirely sure. What do you mean? <laughs> I had a moth in my ear for three days um, uh, at camp. They didn't believe me. They were like, no, you just got flu. You got how flu. big was it? It was a big moth and it was trying to get to the other side. But I have things in between oh, the ears, unfortunately, that so it couldn't get there. It was checking that thing they say about models. Oh, uh, yeah, it was. It wanted to get to the other side, but I've got something very exactly. scarlet, so Yeah, so I think it took the hearing with it. Jeez, and I mean, how did you How do you deal with that? Is there... Um, so eventually, when they realized I wasn't going insane, because I kept on going... Yes, uh, and, you, and, and, I, you, there, they, and there was they, no weave to... <laughs> <laughs> no weave to do. Yeah, so eventually they poured paraffin liquid in my ear. Wow. Yes. Killed it. And then when I got back from prefect camp... Yes, I was a prefect. I was a good girl back in my day. But when I got back <laughs> from camp... How things have changed. <laughs> how things have changed. So when I got back from camp, um, they had a doctor remove it. But it sat there for three days in the ear. Wow. Ew. I'm to this day afraid of moths. Ew. Ew, yeah. Is, is it... But I, I like, honestly, I, yes. you could think that the deafness inhibits me, but it doesn't. Because when people are saying things I don't like, I just give them that, yeah. Were you asking about my breast size because you had yours done? Well, <laughs> that's a very inappropriate <laughs> I mean, do they, do, they, do they look that good? Thank you, Fresh. <laughs> are they real? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, that's why. <laughs> that's why I'm asking you. No, because next, you, next, yes. But you have a yes, no. you you own your own salon, is that right? I uh, yes. Uh, one of the businesses that I have is a, a an aesthetic laser clinic. In in simple English, what does that mean? Okay, so we do laser skin rejuvenation, laser hair removal, laser lipolysis, which is like liposuction but with laser. So everything non-invasive ah. to make you look aesthetically beautiful. Have you ever done a back crack and sack? Would you? Oh, his. yes. So that was what, so we have a lot of male clientele. How disgusting is a back crack and sack? Though? Well, I'm not the therapist, so it's fine for me because, you know, I just charge for it. So it's great for me. But, I, I, you know, I think it's like a gynecologist. Once you've seen one, you've seen them all. It doesn't matter. But my, my question there but is... But back, sack and crack is basically for a guy. Yeah. You're treating the back, sack, crack, and it's... But it explains itself, back, sack, oh, and crack. But some people don't get it. I, I mean, don't get I don't get it because how do you... How are the sack? Because the sack is not something you can... You don't... Uh, how, I can understand it. Back. Okay, so there, there, there are ways... So you what do you use? Like, you, you use very you, careful you hand of? and towel positioning and then the laser. And I, at my clinic, there are very few fa uh, lasers that are, like, pain-free. Could we... Could we do a live back crack and sack for him we next should. week? I think we should. Well, we could do back. I don't know if it's allowed on TV, the what? rest of it. Why would you want to wax your crack, though? Um, ask your girlfriend that. Is it to avoid Klingons? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is like no, Star it's just, Trek. It's, I mean, it's just, you know, if you, if you like more action within that vicinity, I think it's just cleaner, more hygienic. And if you just want to have more activity in that general vicinity, then you should keep it nice. I agree with you. I, I don't know if it's more ear, a moth in my ear, a back suck and crack. Uh, and I'm doing the back suck and crack. We're going to take a break. Let's, <laughs> let's hope we can crack this when we come back. <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Welcome back to WF, WTF to me, what? the fresh takeover, going all hollow miso on you guys. Don't forget to hit us up, hit us up on all the socials, oh. on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. You should know by now the handle is WTF to me. And please use the hashtag WTF to me. We're hanging out with Shashi Naidu. My Twitter yes. has officially become a perv 
Oh my word. Some very big fat. Ooh, I've, there's some very graphic things on my Twitter. Oh, hold right on, now. So a big fat chocolate man posting. Posting me picture. naked, sending me nudes. Ooh. This is an after hour show. <laughs> Could we have a look at some of the responses from uh, your. Wait, I've got to find him. I think. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, so there's a guy who yes. has posted a picture of himself. I don't know if we can zoom in on that. He's uh, offering. Uh, I don't know if the viewers want to see such things. He's, he's offered himself as chocolate. Yes. I thought Fresh was playing. He typed it, damn. Yeah. Um, yeah. We're allowed to name and shame. No, no, man. Well, Guru player says I'm dark chocolate. <laughs> Would you like a piece of me? <laughs> no, I, I've, I've literally never had such a response. Mbunju says, can we just get the land back first? <laughs> So, but, <laughs> Shakti, have you have you ever gone uh, gone you chocolate? Go. Yes, I have. You, of course, you have. I mean, the, I would be dumb not to try everything. You know, you've got to experience. I'm, and I'm also I'm an older lady. I'm 37. I've tried everything once. Wow, you're like the uh, regular Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Here's a box of chocolates. Let me try no, all of them. Yeah, yeah. Now, I have. we were on your uh, social media. Yes. And uh, we 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 saw this. Um. What on earth is a wild thing? Uh, it's taking so long to come up. Oh, oh brave, brave is, is the, the man, man who loves a wild woman. Yes. This is actually probably, uh, you know, after an altercation that I'd had with my, uh, my, my other, my significant other. Okay. And um, you know what? I, I don't think he likes me uh, Despite of me being crazy and mad, he likes me because of it. What's the wildest you've been? Where uh, even you stepped out of your own body and said, Shashi. Wow. Um, I, I, you know what? I, I can honestly say that I'm not that way. I'm not very deaverish. Yes. But I know sometimes in my head, in the middle of an argument, I know I'm wrong, but I'm still continuing to fight because of that debating team captain and I'm like, I must win this argument. I yes. know I'm wrong, yes. but I need to win the fight. So, yeah. you, you know, I've already realized halfway through, but I think that's about the wild saga. I'm not very deaverish. I don't throw tantrums. I don't throw things. I'm quite level-headed. Did you say you're 36? 37. 37. Yeah, how, 30. how do you look 20 ah. to? In fact, in fact, I partied with her in Spain 10 years ago. Oh, she no, as long as exactly been, like this. Okay, we partied what? in Ibiza together. Yeah, 10 years ago. We all had to sign non disclosures for very good reason. Yes, so well, we're done. <laughs> so that's, that's the end of that. And then we also partied together in Zanzibar. Uh, yes, indeed. So we've had, we've had some times, you and I. So yeah, but what happens in Zanzibar? <laughs> what, t come on, you've got to give us a story, at least one. Well, when we went to Zanzibar, won a million rand. That was a good trip. Oh, yes, she was on Tropical Island of Treasure. Yes. Oh, right. What did you do with your million rand? Did you win? I, she won! I did it in a, a, a very uh, low-yield uh, investment. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I just, I, I saved. I invested. I mean, did uh, you... That was part of the laser clinic. These machines are millions and millions. So oh, I kind yes. of invested it. And, you know, I wanted the laser clinic for 10 years. So, but it took 10 years of savings to actually get there. So, yeah, it was do part you, of that. Do thing. you remember when it was that you made your first million? Were you counting? Um, probably, so it was my early 20s, yeah. um, I, I was always very focused, so even when I was studying, yeah. I had a rule, from 16 years of age, whatever money I made, I put away 70%. Uh -huh. if, so that was always my rule, still is today, um, so obviously now like you invest or whatever, but yes. that's 70%. Where the, that's where the Naidu comes in, <laughs> that's the Naidu. Yes, you know how to save, and that was the rule, so whether I'd be earning 25 Rand an hour, a thousand rand an hour, a hundred thousand rand on a shoot or a million rand, or seventy percent went into savings. So um, I quite early on, I think about twenty three, I bought my first apartment in Sanson. Yes. Um, but As you know, one people does. think no, but people think it's. But I never stayed there. I yeah. still stayed in digs at university because I I saw my future. Oh. People get so obsessed with living the life that you want now. I was not worried. So someone else was renting that apartment for me. I didn't live there. I was yes. still living in digs. But yeah, I think at 23, I bought my first apartment and it's about that saving thing. People need, to, it's about saving. It takes money to make money. Uh, wow. I hope you heard that, kids. Try that at home. Right now, we're going to play top three. <laughs> Shashi, top three is simple. Yes. We invade your privacy. Oh. We're going to spin a wheel and then we're going to check out either your top three DMs on Twitter 
three items from your handbag or three posts from your Instagram DMs. Are you ready? OMG, why Please did nobody wheel. warn me about this? No post. deleting, I'm watching what? you. WTF. Okay, it's finished. <laughs> 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 Twitter. Twitter. Okay, great. I will take that phone if you don't mind and oh, go on to Twitter. Okay. I'm so lame on Twitter. So the, <laughs> no, no, your DMs will be popping right now okay. after that okay. post. I don't get DMs. Like you, people don't DM me. You don't get them. I get them on Instagram a lot. I think. People what do they send? Are you are you are you ever offered? Are you ever indecent offered indecent proposals? Uh, a lot. Honestly, you do get them, and more so lately. Um, I've heard that a lot of oh god, models... wait, there's a the phone call now. Who should hey, hang who it up? It? Hello, <laughs> Shashi's phone. Oh no, it was a, it was a, it was. I a... don't want you to sell your insurance. Probably, oh, yeah. Sorry, phone. carry on. I've heard that a lot of models get Instagram DMs yes. from sick Arab men offering to poo on them. And they'll uh, pay them. To be honest, so I, have not I haven't experienced that, but so I, no have, I have experienced people DMing me and me like, I'm gonna, I'll take you and do this for you and do. And to be honest, a lot of it I don't think is real. I think a lot of men are trap. bored. Yes. And they want to trap you and they want you to say yes, I'll come and then. Glenn, what have you found? Right. Sorry. Okay. Neville Pele uh, <laughs> says, uh, "Hey, Sashi, it's Neville Pele, former Lotus FM and comic with a." We, we shot a movie together. I would I love you to be know. on my Facebook radio show. He, from then from from Shashi says he he he. You don't have to explain who you are. And then another one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be in Durban, but I can definitely do it over the phone. My number is that. Okay, well I suppose that's work, so that's fine. Oh, okay. Wait, no, no. This is really Ella, nutritionist, is phoning. Now, what must I do about this? Answer, oh, no. answer, uh, answer. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Put on speaker. No, no, it's not. Go Why is it not going? We need to phone her back. No, oh, my God. Um, <laughs> call her back and put on speaker, dude. Okay. No, okay. Cut. Okay, but why was she phoning in the first place? I don't That's think she's watching the show. But she... No okay. Okay, let's phone her. What did okay. say? Ellen Nutritionist. Okay, yes. yes. She's calling to say TV makes you look fat, but you're not. What? <laughs> <laughs> but it does. <laughs> it's on uh, speaker. No, she's hung up on us. This is a mess, guys. I'm sorry. Fresh. I, please... Okay, last last one. Um, I'm not going to say who this is from. Why? But, uh, it's a bit risque. Um, <laughs> who is it from? Um, okay, I'll, I'll read it. Okay, it's from. Uh, 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 no, I'm not. I, I can't. I'm going to save you because I know. Uh, but <laughs> but here 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 what? I'll uh, read it. This is from <laughs> Terrell Lewis. Hey, Han, how are you doing? Hope is hope all is well. I'm coming over in a few months, looking for an acting entertainment industry. No, that's boring. Okay. My phone is very boring. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Okay. Thank you. Okay, this is from Craig Charles. Thank you for the follow, Miss Naidu. You turned my Glenn. Monday around. Good deed for the day. Check. We met before through mutual friend, but that was uh, eight years ago. Of course, you haven't aged a day since. Enjoy your stay in the mother city as you do. Keep smiling, keep shining, Craig. These are and very then she boring. She just replies with Kissy's face. You know, one of those things. So. I'm very okay. Am I am I more boring than you anticipated? No, please hold on. I'm I'm having a moment. Here. Glenn, you had one job. Sorry. To one find job. it. Thanks, Angel. Pl always a pleasure seeing you. That's Jason Funderburg. Is that you? Okay, fine. I'm sorry. That's done. All right. Glenn, what's your take me back for okay. this Tuesday? <clears throat> Maybe take us back to the pain. Right. Well, the take me back Tuesday today is the people's poet Mzwe Kambuli. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, after Google allegedly profiled him for being HIV positive, he wasn't very happy chappy. Take a look at this. Well, I, don't, I don't have to ask you how much you have, but I'm saying mm -hmm. you, you are talking about a company that's worth billions. For here. every Goliath, there is a David. <laughs> it will take a, 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 an insect to destroy an, a lion. <laughs> Who says Google is unchallengeable? Who says Google, they are creators, they are untouchable? Who says Google is God? What is Google? Is Google synonymous to, to tsunami? Is Google synonymous to God the Almighty? What is Google? Who is Google? It's run by human beings. Human beings that are mortal, that one day will have grave numbers. What is Google? Who is Google? 
I'm not afraid of that. I, I lived under the worst, terrible, dangerous situation in, in the country. That is why I became official, not just anti-apartheid. Mm -hmm. Official is the enemy of the apartheid regime. There was a number attached to me. The, the, the operatives at Flag Plus were given an opportunity and an, a permission to go and eliminate Muzwaka mm -hmm. and they would not be your neighbor uh, uh, they, they would not be prosecuted because Muzwaka was declared the enemy of the state. So who is Google? Is Google Hitler? Where is Hitler? Is Google Mussolini? Where is Mussolini? Is Google Slobodan Milosevic of Yugoslavia? Who, who is Google? I, I, I'm, I'm saying I'm not afraid of any name that can dangle here and bring before me. Even if you were to place me in a game reserve or zoo and place lions here, I won't die screaming and folding my arms. Who is Google? Who is Google? Or what is Google? Oh, what is Google? Is Google? <laughs> Fresh? Who is Google? Who is Google? Maybe we should Google Google. I think we should. <laughs> Google idea. But there's that world famous Google Mbataro. Yes. Perhaps. Also, wasn't there that famous race car driver, that uh, Google Zulu? Uzalo's Google Kumede. So many Googles. So little time. I think the only way the People's Poet is ever going to find out what he is looking for is if he makes peace with Gugu. In fact, I think we should bring out our second guest on the show. She's a former Miss Universe teen, model, news anchor, and if you don't believe me, ask Gugu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shante Chanti. Please spin the wheel. Oh, Shante. <laughs> There you go. Please have a seat. Uh, what's Shantae drinking, dog? Well, uh, uh, instead of uh, Botox, uh, Shantae goes with mm. detox. Oh, so no. I, uh, Are you one of those people? Some, I am. I am. I am. So this is a little uh, <laughs> oh, tea with no. a special herb. Let's just call oh, it uh, Okay, well, then, tea. then it's okay. Bill Cosby, is this you? <laughs> no, no. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Too soon. Thank you so much. That, Way that too literally soon. is green tea. Yeah. yeah, it is. Shantae, it's that truth. Already. Are you ready to tell us wow. the truth? I think you should have some of my vodka. Shante, <laughs> have you ever broken the law? What did you do? Um, I, I don't know if I've broken the law or not. Have you, have you broke the speed limit? Oh, yes, I have. Have you have bribed, you bribed the, cop? the cop? Um, actually, that was actually funny today because I was complaining to my mom. Um, I actually got out of a speeding ticket from giving a metro cop my number. Oh, 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 you definitely have broken the law. Wow. <laughs> he keeps wow. calling me and he keeps calling me on private number and I keep thinking it's my boss. And every time I answer and it's him and he's like, hello. And I'm like, oh, it's I, Mike I, again. 50 Rand, eh? Mike, oh, um, <laughs> a cold, I thought it was a cold drink. Because <laughs> I was like, I'll block him. So I blocked his number, but he keeps calling wow. me from private numbers. So Why would we deal with these Ill <laughs> illegalities? We're going to uh, take a break. We'll be back soon after this with a bit of Corley. Wow. Chante. <laughs> Welcome back to WTF to me. This is the fresh takeover. Our socials are very simple. WTF to me. The hashtag is WTF to me. We are going to check out some of your tweets. Um, <laughs> who are you people? Um, someone here says, guys, we know that Gugu is Sizwe Tomo. <laughs> <laughs> that is from Wisani. Wisani, you are crazy. Um, I know good and well Fresh didn't make reference to a video of Faith getting slapped by a finger. Oh. Um, I can't use the word you used, uh, obviously. Uh, thanks for all of your tweets, but uh, we are hanging out with two very hardworking women. Uh, Shashi Naidu is in the building, and Shante Semtanda. Yes. Chanchis. Yes. How many people know that you're actually half Hossa? Not a lot of people. Yeah? A lot of people get surprised by it. I think because my, my surname is Afrikaans. Yes. So people would naturally just think that I'm coloured, but it's actually Hossa Chanchis. Yes. So. Do, you, do you speak Bantu? Tingley. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> could you could you do like a full Bantu bulletin or not? No, no, you no. Couldn't. We're not that advanced. No. You can't even do it in Tanda no Nah, yeah, I no? <laughs> But then the other half of you is Scottish, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, my father. Is he actually Scottish? Yes, he really Scottish. is. <laughs> so how's your Scottish accent? Um, it's horrible. Is it? Yeah. So you can't do the it's Scottish. It's non-existent. Can't do the Cosa. Because I'm South African. Ah, yes, guys. Nice. Did, did you ever ask your dad what do you wear under the kilt? No. <laughs> You're supposed to ask or not? I think yeah, that's not. a given, that's, right? That's, yeah. that's really weird. But, but, but I want to know because I've been burning to ask you the whole day. Julius Malema gave you 150 grand. Mm -hmm. Okay. For what? Wh why? What? <laughs> <laughs> Firstly. And secondly, what did you do with it? Um, so back in 2010, uh, after I was Miss, Miss, South, Miss South Africa Teen, yes. I entered Miss Teen Universe um, and I won that. Um, so when I came back, that was, you know, well done, congratulatory prize. Well done. But, um, but you funded your own trip though. Yes. So when you had the tax problems, did like, did you have to help him give the money back or what happened? No, we, we were not involved. <laughs> <laughs> did you phone your family and I need the money back, I'm having a facade. Please take a drink issue. away. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> or well, the comrade and, order. And what, what did you do with it? What did you do with the 100 um, So, yeah, so it was self-funded from my mom and my dad. So I, I paid them back, obviously, um, the amount for me to be able to go to the trip. Um, and then I did a couple of um, charity work with it. I bought um, school shoes for some kids. I donated some to church. Um, I also bought a soccer kit for a needy um, school in Mamalodi. Um, did you even buy just like a young shoe or something? Oh, like no, I really shoes. didn't. I really didn't. There was just so much focus on like where this money was going to be spent. My mom was like, you are not going to spend this money exactly. on anything. Mom's exactly. Not yeah. even a cool drinky. No, none of that. <laughs> Please let's play a game. What are we yes, playing? Let's do it. Okay. We're going to play a game called uh, 30 Seconds. We haven't played it in a long time. Uh, what is going to happen is there are going to be images on the screen behind the guesses and the explainers are going to sit over there and you're going to try and get as many of the celebrities as possible who's in your 30 second so we are together we are Sashi. together Can yes you? i'm very happy about that uh, me too i'm very happy and then you guys are together so the winner circles over here okay oh. yes. okay so 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 i'll go and guess and you uh, stand over you here have a shot of tequila though so i think yes. we should like I'm, I'm not guessing anything right because I'm happy about that. Okay. Okay, we what need you to stand there. We need you to stand there and face us. Okay. Right in front of the TV, just below the block there. Okay. So here. Good. And yes, then both I, of you. One I step down. You guys or... One step no, down. No, you go stand up. You okay. need to stand there too. Good. Alrighty. Great. Okay. Fresh. Uh, please don't look at the screen. Don't oh. look at oh. cheating. Right. Yes. Okay. okay. You guys are all first. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, your time starts now. Go for it. Uh, he's the super mega. AKA. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, I'll be back. Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. Well done. That's two. Um, 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 she's your girl, B. Bonang. Well, no, yes. Oh, never. that's so easy, man. Too um, easy. Um, 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 T'Challa. T'Challa. Wakanda. Um, uh, next, um, next, next. Update. Um, flip. White guy. <laughs> Flynn! What? Flynn! My dad! Two, yes. one. Okay, that's three. That's three. That's Who was that? Uh, that Who was, is that? Right? Uh, Show us the picture. Who was uh, the white guy? Uh, oh, he's Captain America! Captain America. Do you not I mean, know Fred, that? How do you not know that? He's Fred, actually know. You know what? He's got a beard now. He's looking yeah, more sophisticated. I get it. Okay, you ready? I only uh, know 30 South seconds. African three, superheroes. two, one. Okay. Okay, this is very easy. She's in Pretty Woman. Judy Roberts! Yes, okay. Next one. Okay, right. Now, this one. This, um, she, when was come she? On! Okay, no, next, next. Uh, I'll come back to her. Okay, famous comedian. He's very tall. Very tall. Um, uh, uh, I no, don't know. No, South African. South African. Yeah. I'll go next one. Okay, next. It's fine. Okay, she is very interesting, actually. She oh my God! <laughs> she Twelve years <laughs> later. Twelve years later. Okay, next, next, next. Oh no. Yes. Okay, okay. She. Uh, <laughs> I'm, sorry. Tell you? I'm sorry. Did I we'll not be, tell you? We'll one, one, more round, one more round. One more round. One more round. One more round. No, I can't tell you. Guess, you guess. You guess. You guess. Okay. Okay. okay, you guys cool. are guessing. I promise you we'll be back. Well, one day got three. We'll be definitely be better after this, I swear. Okay, your 30 seconds starts now. Focus. Okay. Um, okay, he was the first uh, James Bond. Not first. Or the second one. Well, he um, was Roger one Moore, no, Sean Connery. No, the best one. The best one, the most good looking. I next, think. next. Okay, next. Okay. Um, 
Oh, she's a gospel singer. Um, she's been... Rebecca. Yes, 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 yes. Well yes. done. Um, he plays um, Stark in... in um, in all the, the, the oh, movies yeah. that have stock in Iron Man, Iron Man. Um, 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 Robert Downey Jr. Yes, yes, okay, yes. Okay, you're on five. Um, she was with him as a time, time, time. She has time. lips. Um, it's time. Her name sounds like a color. Her name sounds like a color. Time, time. Time. Okay, you're what on five. I mean, I've got to be sick. Like, look at what I'm playing Start with. Four. <laughs> okay, ready. Okay. Okay, we need to get four. Okay. okay. Ready. Three. Two, one, start the time in 10 seconds. I don't know who that is. Move. What? Okay, next. I don't know who it is. Okay. Um, 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 she is the best actress in Hollywood. Okay, Female Meryl older. Streep? Yes, okay, go. Good. Next, next. Good. Give me the next picture. Okay. <laughs> yes, I can see how you crazy. He is an actress. Uh, sorry, a comedian, South Africa, yes. also tall. Okay. Brown face. Uh, um, uh, Lois Ogola. A, yes, go. Next no, one. That next was one. who it was. Okay. What's the, it called? A, a panda, a panda. He was Black Panda. Black Panda. Uh, 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 a panda prince. Yes. You guys lost, so you're gonna down the tequila. Okay, we'll share. <laughs> I feel like we won. I feel like anyway. we won and she was doing anyway. It's from Black. Shashi, you are so <laughs> dramatic. Oh, that was great. I just spent a week in Cannes with Bernard. <laughs> Darling, it all <laughs> In fact, we'll give them what they want. They want ads. <laughs> Bafe, Baska Bahema. Wow. <laughs>Back. This is WTF to me, the fresh takeover. Glenn is over at the bar as always. He's with Candy and Nonny D. What's going on there, dog? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the show Candy and Nonny D from Nigeria. <laughs> what? Uh, how do, do you have? You, you do have papers to be here, Nonny D. I'm just making sure. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. When when did this co collaboration come about? Um. Actually, I was uh, recording my uh, singer last year, and I was looking for someone from Africa, not even in South Africa, because I've been collaborating with everyone here in South Africa. Mm. So, and then, you know, I love too much, like, doing the research about African musicians. Mm. So I find him through uh, Instagram, and then I DM him. I DM him. But, uh, and uh, the other guy called Dr. Frank, the producer of the song, and then he just sent me his number before he can even send his number to me. Uh, and am I right in saying that there's more than just a collaboration here? Oh my God. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, are you What do you mean? It's Noni D. Uh, are, are, are you guys not... Something, something. Uh, <laughs> I don't know I mean, if like, is I a think, word. I mean, is how can you say that? I don't understand what you mean. Noni D, are, are there romantic relationships that are going on here? But, um... <laughs> no, not. But this no. is this, that, that, that should be personal. not really. Not what is not? No, no, no. Like, like that one is personal. I don't. That, I'm not here for like to talk about their relationship. Right, like right. That. Okay. We are here to perform. Yes. Okay. And <laughs> and, and, and 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 what are you going to be performing for us tonight? Second and second day by day. Well, just a love song. Explain to me because there was a there's a story behind the song. Oh eh? my God. Yeah. No, can you please just tell? Mm. Yeah. Explain, no. Please. Actually. Um, the story behind the song is uh, a beautiful girl, well, wealthy, from wealthy family, mm. that has got loved. That's from, me. <laughs> right, it yeah. seems like. By, yeah, by a guy, but the guy wasn't really serious. You know, mm. he's, the guy loved her, but not... He was a cheater, actually he was not, cheating not on me. Not steady in the relationship. Yeah, but he's crazy about Do you me understand? Anyway. Yeah, um, but then, know. so... Okay. He actually won a comeback fully, mm. okay. so she's now scared of giving him that second chance or yeah. third we chance are, or fourth chance. Uh, yes, uh, we are looking forward to it in this thing. Fresh, what have you got to, uh, for us tonight? <laughs> Glenn, I'm not sure that we've got enough bats, but let's play Never That, nonetheless. I'm going to ask you guys a few questions and you guys will answer if you've done it or not. Oh, 
have so, to be honest, honest. Uh, you have to be honest, honest. Oh. So we don't have enough bats. Can be so honest. whatever Noni D answers also applies to you, Candy. Oh my God. Uh, yes. Oh. Exactly. Uh, but the, yeah, okay. Okay. Let Here's your first question. <laughs> Never have I ever drunk dialed my ex. What's well, so I've yes done that. Yes. <laughs> of course, yeah. yeah. Never that. So explain no, who I was it. You've never drunk dialed an ex. Wait, let's talk about never. you first. Never. Yes. Drunk texted? They, don't, they can't share, but come sit next to me, honey. I think we're going to get on better. <laughs> I think so. Go ahead. Yes, it's Candy, have you ever drunk dialed your ex? I never. <laughs> it's because uh, you're calling him after the show. Yeah. Don't yeah. lie. Never even to say I'm in the Niger area now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! And you, how can you say that, my big brother? Aww. Here's the next one. Never ever have I ever peed on myself. Have you ever peed on yourself? Um, it, I think that's a, a child question. Yeah, everybody's yeah, done that, that fresh. No, 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 like I in your adult me, life. No, no, not in my never. adult life. Never that. No, never that. Never that. Candy. Okay, so what confirm? I get the feeling that she just threw him under the bus. Uh, no, 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 she's confirming. <laughs> oh, okay. Your next question. Never ever have I sent a nude to the wrong person. Oh, oh Jesus! Oh, <laughs> okay. Have you ever sent a nude to the wrong person? The monster. That is talk so awkward. It. You gotta talk us through it, please. Nonny D. You sent a nude to the wrong person. So you sent what to whom? Like how many nudes do you send that you can no, send one to no, the no, wrong no, person? No, just, just no, but don't forget it's from West no. Africa. There's enough to send. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Give him a chance. Are you on Grinder? Oh, sorry, <laughs> Tinder. What Not exactly? Tinder. What exactly happened? Oh, okay. Actually, it was uh, there was. Um, a few years back, I got up and someone called me to <laughs> remind me that I, I'm supposed to send, uh, you know, so I was trying to be fast and went to, <laughs> went to the, wrong the wrong person there. Uh, actually, it was my... So wow. <laughs> Can you ever send a nude to the wrong person? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, so many times in that. Even now. Send it to the yeah, <laughs> bad, to the yeah, wrong person. Mm. Ah, she's just saying it because Nadi said. Uh, uh, no, uh, uh, one, no, no, it's different. Like, like yeah, it's, I've been while saying. Candy handles his nonny D, we want to take a break. Funny, we'll be back. Hey. <laughs> Tonight, welcome back to WTF to me with a fresh take on things. Don't forget to show your thoughts, share your thoughts on all the socials. We are WTF to me, the hashtag WTF to me. Thanks again for tuning in. Up next is Trending SA. A big thank you to our guests, Shashi Naidu and Shante Chanchis. From myself, DJ Fresh, the big dog, and Lenzito. Have a good night, in spite of yourselves. <laughs>